Meghan Markle should be spending her time building bridges with the firm not lecturing young mums about going back to work from her £11 million mansion, a royal expert has claimed. Meanwhile the publication of Prince Harry's impending memoirs is hanging over the royal family like the Sword of Damocles. The comments come from former royal editor Duncan Larkham who appeared on True Royalty TV's Royal Beat today. The Duchess of Sussex launched her new 40 by 40 initiative, intended to encourage people to commit to giving 40 minutes of their time to support women going back to work, in a video message filmed in her and Harry's Montecito home, shared on her 40th birthday last week. She personally chose 40 friends in high places to help publicize the announcement, including influential U.S. politician Stacey Abrams, British Vogue editor, in, Chief Edward Enninful and Prince Harry's cousin Princess Eugenie. Duncan suggested the campaign is ill, judged, adding, she has left behind her a trail of devastation, on the Markle side, and now on the Windsor side. I don't want to see her lecturing young mums having to go back to work from inside her $11 million LA mansion. This initiative is nonsense, she should be spending her time trying to build bridges with the very people that she and Harry have betrayed. He added that the issue of the Duke of Sussex's much-anticipated book is also looming over the Windsors. Duncan described the pending publication as like a sword of Damocles hanging over the royals now. We mentioned the Queen's Platinum Jubilee and we don't know if it is going to be time to come out on the day that the nation is supposed to be paying tribute to the Queen, he told host Kate Thornton. I always laugh, if, Princess, Eugenie is helping with the book, let's just hope for her sake that does not mean that she too does not have to live in exile when the rest of the royal family are all offended. It's been a difficult week for the royals, with Virginia Roberts filing a lawsuit in New York on Monday accusing Prince Andrew of sexually assaulting her. It claimed she was forced to have sex with the Duke of York three times on the orders of the paedophile Jeffrey Epstein with all the incidents allegedly taking place in 2001 when she was 17 years old. Prince Andrew has always vehemently denied sexual contact with Roberts. Journalist and author Wesley Kerr told the Royal Beat that the Prince's team's current policy of saying nothing will not be sustainable. Duncan added, this is possibly what Prince Andrew has been dreading. One of the two of them is lying and it is either Prince Andrew or it is her, indicating Roberts. He pointed out that the Duke's circumstances are exceptional explaining, I think what we have to remember is that Prince Andrew is unlike the rest of us. Since he was a child, he has been surrounded every day by royal protection officers, and when he went to the Pizza Express in Woking, rather than meet Ms. Roberts, he would have been driven around, he would have been taken there, it would have been logged. You have an entourage of alibis or an entourage of witnesses depending on how it unfolds. Royal historian Anna Whitelock told the programme that the filing of sexual abuse allegations will have greatly upset his mother the Queen. Prince Andrew is rumoured to be her favourite son and is now a cause of massive embarrassment to the monarchy. However as the situation unfolds, the reputational damage to the royal family has already been done, she said. Members of the royal family will also have to prepare themselves for series 5 of Netflix drama The Crown, which has started filming and will dramatize a notoriously difficult period of time in their recent history. It will cover the Queen's Annus Horribilis, a Latin phrase meaning horrible year which she used in 1992 to describe the collapse of three of her children's marriages, including Prince Charles to Princess Diana, and the fire that severely damaged her Windsor Castle home. Anna noted, if the royal family have found the crown uncomfortable viewing up until now, this season is not going to give them any respite. The royal beat is available to watch now on True Royalty TV.